Robin, Robin, on my pine tree, I can see you. Do you see me? Are you searching for the things you need? Water, insect, twigs, or seeds? Goldfinch, goldfinch, on my pine tree, I can see you. Do you see me? Are you searching for the things you need? Water, insects, twigs, or seeds? House finch, house finch, on my pine tree, I can see you. Do you see me? Are you searching for the things you need? Water, insects, twigs, or seeds. Swallow, swallow, on my pine tree, I can see you. Do you see me? Are you searching for the things you need? Water, insects, twigs, or seeds. There are many different things that the birds need. Some prefer worms first, like the robin I often see digging in the dirt with his beak, sucking up the worms from the soil. And some are very good at catching the flies in midair, like the swallow. His wings, the way his wings are shaped, they're very sleek. They have a certain kind of style to them that makes it easy for the swallow to move quickly in the air and catch a fly in midair. And then the favorite thing of the finch, the goldfinch, is seed. And their beak is specially designed to be able to grind and chop up seeds very efficiently. They have a compact beak and with a strong jaw that just crunches right down on the seed. And today we're going to learn about a new songbird. And the new songbird is the black-capped chickadee. Isn't he a cutie? I love the song of the black cat chickadee. When I'm outside, I often hear it. It's something like this. Dee dee, dee dee, chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee, Phoebe, Phoebe, chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee. Chickadee -dee, -dee. It's such a cute song. So the chickadee is a little bird. It's one of the smaller ones. And it has that pretty song. So that's an easy way to, to figure out if you're hearing or looking at a chickadee, if they make that sound that I made, that song, and if they're little with the round little belly. And they will often uh, build a nest uh, or build holes in trees. And they're found in the United States, our country, or Canada. And they build nests made of fur and feathers and soft plants. And on cold nights, Two or more chickadees will gather together and sleep together to keep warm. And they like to eat insects, spiders, seeds, and berries. The black-capped chickadee. So you have quite a few birds now that you have studied and that you've been observing. And you've seen their different shapes and sizes and colors. And that's part of being a good bird watcher, is being able to look at the birds and compare their sizes and their shapes and their colors. And, and so when we think about sizes, we're gonna be thinking, okay, um, that bird out there looks to be, hmm, that bird looks to be about nine to 11 inches. That's a pretty big bird. That could be an American robin. A bird that's even bigger than that with large, large wings could be a hawk up in the sky. And then a very small bird. Well, um, we have the, um, the, the finches. They're only about six inches in height compared to the robin at nine or 11 inches so that the finches would be smaller birds. And the goldfinch actually, the housefinch is about six inches, but the goldfinch is actually only four and a half. So here's four and a half inches for the goldfinch. 
and then the house finch is six inches like that and the robin is up to nine inches to, ten, to 11 inches in height. So you can begin to notice the different sizes of the birds while you're out there in the field. And when they say in bird watching language, out in the field means anywhere where you are to watch birds. That could be as simple as your backyard or up and down your street, or you might go to a special place like a creek or the woods, some place that's well known for watching birds. So we're gonna begin to um, take note of the special features of songbirds and compare them. So you might also be comparing the beaks of the birds that you see. As we were just talking about, the robin's beak is longer than the finches. Here's the robin's beak, and here's the, the house finch's beak. You can see they have different lengths, and that's because the bird's bodies, the things they do, uh, suit the shape of their bodies. So if the robin is trying to suck up worms, it's easier to do that with a longer beak, I would think. And if you're trying to grind up seeds, you're not gonna want a whole long beak to get in your way. You're just gonna want a shorter beak that can crunch up very easily, right? And so as bird watchers, now that we are becoming, we're gonna be looking at the differences in beaks and the differences in wing size and the overall shape of the body. Like I said, the chickadee is such a cute little shape to him or her with that round little belly. I just love it, so cute. Right, and that's different than say the swallow doesn't really, he's a little bit more, I don't know, more long and slender. And so uh, we can see those differences also. Um, yeah, and so we see those differences as we're studying more and more birds. So I am going to give you Thanks to ABC Teach, I have this worksheet about the chickadee that's a color by number. And so you can look at your chickadee photo that I will be sending you if you're my student. And you can think about the colors that you would need to color in your own chickadee. Also at the bottom of the color by number, it tells you what colors you would need. So whenever you see the number one, you will color in B-L-A-C-K, black. You'll use the color black. And wherever you see the number two, you're going to use the color white. And for the number three sections of your bird, of your chickadee, you're, you're going to use the color gray. Okay, great. And one more special thing that I'll be sending you will be a bird behavior bingo. So when you're outside, it can be fun to, not only to see what kinds of birds you see or what they look like, but to analyze what they are doing. Observe what they're doing out there. They have many different kinds of things that they need to do and like to do. They might be hiding, maybe from the sun or from a predator, a bigger bird that's trying to eat them or a bigger animal that's trying to eat them. They might be feeding. They might be preening, cleaning themselves. Maybe you're going to see a bird flying, that's often the case, or flocking, getting together with its flock, other birds of its kind. Or you may see a bird, oh, it says a bird freezing and sitting still. I don't think we're gonna to see too much of that right now. Maybe in the winter you would see that more, right? And hopefully this week you're going to see a bird singing. And if you have a bird bath or there's a neighbor with one nearby and when you're taking a walk, you might see a bird bathing. Sometimes even if there's a puddle, you'll see a bird sitting in a puddle and bathing. Or giving an alarm call. That's an interesting thing, an alarm call. What do you know about the word alarm? Hmm, we have smoke alarms, fire alarms, that tell us when, um, a smoke alarm will tell us when it detects smoke in your house and it'll go beep, 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 right? And at school there's an alarm and we practice lining up and getting out of school to, just in case there were, was ever an emergency, like a fire. And then the bird sounds off an alarm too. Oh, cars have alarms. 
If you bump into a car, it might go right, like an anti-theft device so that nobody takes the car. And then the bird gives an alarm to say, hey, this is my territory. Don't come too close. And so it looks like that's what this cat is saying to, I mean, that's what this bird is saying to this cat in this picture. So birds will sing songs often to find a mate. Uh, that means a partner in life to have their, their babies with, to have their family with, or to say, this is my territory and you better not come any closer. Okay, so those will be two fun activities this week. The chickadee coloring page and the bird behavior bingo. As you're out and about in your yard, if you see three of these pictures in a row outside, then you can color them. And when you get three in a row, either up and down vertically or horizontally or diagonally, then you've got a bingo. And then you say bingo, and that might be fun to play at home. You could make a couple of copies and play that game. Well, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy your time with the birds. Do you know how sometimes in school we would say, uh, well, we say get your shoes if you're wearing uh, yellow today. If you're sitting on yellow today, yellow today, yellow today. Do you remember that song we would do when we were changing into our house shoes? from our outside shoes. Well, how about if we call the birds and we'll call them by their colors, okay? So you look at, while you're at home, you look and see what, which birds am I calling. So let's see, let's, let's perch the chickadee someplace, okay. Fly to me if you're wearing orange, black, and white feathers. If your feathers are orange, black, and white, orange, black, and white, fly to me if your feathers are orange, black, and white on this fine day. Yay, the American Robin is flying to me. Let's see, fly to me if your feathers are yellow, black, and white. Yellow, black, and white. Yellow, black, and white. Fly to me if your feathers are yellow, black, and white. On this fine day. Here comes the goldfinch. Ooh, hi, goldfinch. Okay, fly to me if your feathers are, hmm, who should we call next? Who should we call? Okay, how about, if your feathers are blue, white, and gray, blue, white, and gray, blue, white, and gray, fly to me if your feathers are blue, white, and gray, on this fine day, the tree swallow, yay! Fly to me if your feathers are red, gray, and white with a little bit of black stripes. Fly to me, fly to me if your feathers are red, gray, and white with a little bit of black stripes on your belly. That would be the house finch. Yay, house finch, come on over. And then we have our new little fella. Fly to me if you have a cap of black and some feathers of gray and a belly so white. Fly to me if you have a cap of black, feathers that are gray with a little bit of white in there too and a belly so white. Yay, black cap chickadee, come join the fun and welcome to our songbird study collection. <laughs> okay, terrific. Well, I hope you have a great week. God bless you. Bye.